Hi there, how are you doing? This is Ranjit and in this uh, video I'm going to talk about the Snapdragon 430 chipset which Qualcomm had announced in uh, MWC that was going on in China. And I feel this is a big deal because uh, this is an entry level uh, mid-range uh, what do you say chipset which is going to replace the very popular Snapdragon 435. In fact 435 was not that popular but the Snapdragon 430 chipset was actually very popular and was seen in a lot of entry level or entry Three just upcoming what do you say mid-range Android phones but now uh, Qualcomm has announced the Snapdragon 430, uh, 450 chipset and actually it's a big leap because uh, it has improved a lot of things the biggest thing I would say that improved was that uh, the Snapdragon 430 and the 435 was manufactured using the old uh, 28 nanometer but this one the Snapdragon uh, 450 is based on the 14 nanometer FinFET for example the Snapdragon 625 chipset is also based on 14 nanometer hence due to this uh, it's still an octa-core processor based on the arm cortex a53 but as it's moved from 28 to 14 nanometer you get huge improvements for example it'll heat up a lot less and also the power efficiencies have increased a lot in fact according to qualcomm power efficiencies have increased by 25 percent if you compare with the snapdragon 435 chipset so that's great and according to qualcomm you can get about four hours of extra battery life on this one not only that there are some uh, differences if we come compared with the Snapdragon 435. For example, again, as you can see, this is the first uh, chipset um, on the four, 400, uh, what do you say, lineup of Snapdragon that's based on the 14 nanometer. So that's a huge deal in my opinion. And again, as you can see, this is another image. And this gives us an uh, overview. What are the new improvements? First, as I mentioned, uh, Qualcomm says about four hours extra battery life that you should get. Another thing is that uh, this one also supports dual camera support. Even the Snapdragon 435 did that. But this one, the old uh, Snapdragon 430 and 435 supported dual camera uh, up to 8 megapixel each, but this bumps it up to 13 megapixel. And if it's a single camera, it can uh, support up to 21 uh, megapixel. And uh, this one also has the new GPU. The older Snapdragon 435 had the Adreno 505 GPU, but this uh, Snapdragon 450 will have the Adreno 506 GPU, which actually we found on the Snapdragon 625. And Qualcomm uh, claims that uh, this GPU is about 20 25% faster. So again, gaming performance should also be a lot uh, better on this one. And again, this gives you an overview of the chipset itself. And uh, one thing that I have noticed is that it's very similar to the Snapdragon 625 uh, chipset that was also based on 14 nanometer. But one thing Qualcomm did to differentiate this one is that in terms of video recording, uh, this ca can do video recording only up to 1080p, whereas the Snapdragon 625 could go up to 4K. So there is one difference that they have made but apart from that uh, we are getting a lot for example this new snapdragon 450 will also get the qualcomm quick charging 3 support uh, the snapdragon 435 had just qualcomm uh, quick charging version 2 support so as you can see they are packing in a lot for uh, this chipset and again to give you a brief idea again uh, regarding the camera it can have uh, up to 21 megapixel and dual camera support up to 13 megapixel each and it can also have real time bokeh effects that uh, we find on higher end uh, smartphone so that's a, re a really nice thing and another thing that uh, is improved is that this new chipset will support usb 3 speeds the older one had uh, support for only up to usb 2 so again if you transfer a lot of data via usb cable you'll get speeds uh, usb 3 speeds on this one and again up to 25 percent less power consumption so it will give you a lot more battery life and overall for indian conditions moving from 28 nanometer to 14 nanometer it'll heat up a lot less so i feel this is a very very important uh, chipset specific Effectively for emerging countries like India, where uh, most of the smartphones are sold in the budget to entry level mid range uh, smartphones, and this Snapdragon 450 chipset uh, will be a great boon to uh, smartphones like that. But again, it's just announced so. Uh, according to Qualcomm, the, the Snapdragon 450 based uh, uh, smartphones will start coming out quarter th uh, third quarter of 2017. That is end of uh, 2017. So I'm actually pretty excited about this Snapdragon 450 chipset. This will give actually very good power and what do you say it will balance and great battery life for entry level mid range uh, smartphones. And I'm looking forward to test out these smartphones. Again, if you recall, uh, 
just about a month ago, uh, Qualcomm had also announced their mid-level chips. That's the Snapdragon 630 and the 660 earlier. That will be coming in mid-range uh, uh, smartphones. So I'm looking forward to that. And what do you think about the Snapdragon 450 chipset? Do share your thoughts in the YouTube comment section below. And again, don't forget to watch other videos that I've produced on this channel. And if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.